Hi there, Janet Fritzer for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. This is a Paw Your Way Into Our Heart hop where we are documenting our pets. And this is also Series 15 of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. The sketch that I am using today is from Miss Carrie Creations. And I am following it pretty closely. I'm also doing uh, some assemblage required video. I'm going to be using the cat and the fish bowl out of this particular set called Bet Sprinkles. And I am going to use the paw print and the fish bones out of this kitty care sprin sprinkles. And I'm going to use one of MK's stitching rulers and she cuts those to order. So if that's something that you're interested in, you order it on our website, she cuts it and she'll send it to you. It does take a little bit longer to get your order out because it has to be custom cut. Um, starting out with some white paper and some apricot Dina Wakely Media Gloss. And I'm just sprint spritzing that over my paper. Sorry, I still caught a cold and trying not to cough. So um, I am also pulling out a little bit of Shimmer's product here. It is the Cantaloupe color. And it's peachy, kind of like the apricot, a little bit darker, maybe a little orangier and it's shimmery the apricot uh, media gloss is not shimmery at all it is just like a gloss acrylic kind of paint looking color and then i'm also pulled out some tender peach nouveau mist and i just sprinkled a little bit of that it's uh, actually shimmer spray i believe not just mist so um sprinkling that around a little bit as well to give a little bit of background to this white paper <coughs> I have pulled a bunch of stuff out of my scrap bin, trying to use up some scraps while I um, create, since I'm not creating with a particular kit, like I've been using my cruise kit for cruise photos or whatever, um, I decided to go straight to my scrap bin because this is kind of a one-off layout. It's not a series of layouts or anything, so scraps works great for these types of layouts uh, where you don't need to match things um, with you know five six seven or you know two dozen other layouts <laughs> whatever the case may be so i've pulled out a bunch of scraps i'm going to do a bunch of layering behi behind my photos i started out with the tags kind of in the position they are on the photograph but they're not going to stay there they're going to end up where those banner pieces are uh kind of to the left of my photos and then I am going to have some strips across the top but I'm going to also use the stitching ruler to um, as a template which is what it's for to poke the holes and do some stitching up there and uh, I'm not somebody who like looks at it and goes okay let me start with the simplest simplest stitch and work my way up I mean I do know how to do a back stitch and I do know how to do a um, oh my goodness, I can't remember what it's called. Um, anyway, I know a couple of different stitches, but uh, this one is a little bit different, and I'm like, I'm like, go for go for, go big or go home. So just go for it. So of course I don't start with the easiest one, but um, the stitching template is awesome because it shows you where your thread or your floss or whatever it is you happen to be using should go on several of these stitches. So uh, I really like that about it and you'll see I kind of mess up right at the beginning and then um, kind of go have to go back and fix my little mistake there. I am inking everything in some black soot distress ink just to give it a little bit of pop of um, dimension and so that those layers are a little bit more readily visible and I did pull out two different tag top punches from Stampin' Up. I don't know if they make either one of these. I've had them for ages in my stash and I know they have at least one other kind that I don't have. And so um, I'm not sure if these two are still available or not. So uh, the idea is that you cut your paper in a two inch width stick it in the punch, punch the top, and it will cut the tag topper for you. So that's all I did there using, again, more scraps. So now I'm pulling out my wood veneer pieces, trying to figure out exactly which ones I want at this point. I 
also thought about using those fish bones that are up off to the right hand side but there was one fish bone in one of these other sets and I decided to go ahead and use it it's slightly different than the ones that you see off to the right hand side there and um, not that I like it better I just decided to use it out of the same package rather than mixing and matching but you certainly could mix and match because th um, that is kind of like the beauty of wood veneer so um, yeah I, and I really like the neutral color that it also brings to the layout and the palette. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put a little liquid glue on my layers here to hold them in place and put them down because I know I'm going to do the stitching there. I don't want to use my tape runner. The ATG makes it a little bit hard to go through the layers of paper because your needle will get kind of gummed up from going through. And so I didn't want to use that. I, I feel like using the liquid glue works better for me. And so that was my number one choice. Now, you certainly could use some liquid glue, or tape runner if you knew exactly where you were going to do your stitching. Um, or just use some al like an alcohol wipe and wipe your noodle needle off periodically. Or your piercing tool, whichever the case may be. So I am going to use a piercing tool that I have in my my toolkit here. Um, it's a really old one from Amy Tangerine. And here is the stitching rulers. There's two of them in this set and they have two, well, they have multiple patterns on each one. And I really like them. I think they're really cool. Um, I definitely needed these in my stash so that I don't just continue to do um, the two stitches that I know how to do. And so I think it's a fun way to add a little bit of extra detail. And I thought it would be particularly fun because I'm documenting these three kittens and kittens love string. So why not add it to this particular layout? It's also going to bring in a pop of black, which two of these cats have pops of black on them. The other one is actually all black. And so um, I thought that would be perfect. Also, my color choices for this layout were really based off of the cats. They are two. There's two calicos and a, like I said, a black one. And so I kind of brought in those orangey tones like a calico has. Um, the story of these kittens that I am really documenting here is somehow their mom cat is a neighborhood cat. And um, somehow she found a way in to our crawl space and had her kittens under our house. And these are the three kittens. We um, were able to trap the mom and the babies and get them out. And uh, my son, I think, the, my son and his girlfriend have all three of the cats next door. I think eventually the uh, black one will be rehomed um, and the other two they are going to keep. So, uh, yeah, they, uh, they, we moved them over to a shed um, next door in behind my parents' house, which is what my, where my son is living at the moment. Um, and, uh when they get a little bit older, they will be, um, the black one will be rehomed. Re they do currently have names. Um, they are Star Wars fans. So the little black one is Naboo. The cheeky one with the tricolor face is uh, Binks. And the one with the two color face is Camino. And those are all Star Wars related names. So Binks, I think, is from Jar Jar Binks. And the other two are Planets. I don't know. Um, anyway, they're super cute and really, really fuzzy. Um, and so I thought I would document that. So uh, this is kind of like the way it goes with all of our pets. They are all rescues. Um, and when I say rescues, uh, they kind of wandered into our lives with the exception of our dog. Uh, she is a rescue as well, but we went and got her. All of the other ones have just shown up at our house. And that's kind of the way it goes around here. And we just don't have the heart to say no. Um, so that's how my son got his dog and that's how we got our other cats. Anyway, I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this embroidery floss to this tag. And then I'm gonna add some of this um, apricot jute from Prima to the other two tags. You can see I did a little bit more stitching on um, below the photos and above the photos there 
just to bring those colors uh, that more of that black down I didn't want it as prevalent though and now I am going to go ahead and place my wood veneer pieces. They are adhesive backed, so I'm just peeling the adhesive right off and sticking them down. I have already removed the masking off of the top of them. They have a protective um, paper coating over the top of them so that they don't get scorched when they're being cut. And uh, you do have to peel that off ahead of time, and I did that mostly off camera. Now I did go to my thickers, trying to use up thickers. Oh my goodness, I've got so many. It's going to take me an like forever to do it and especially since I don't have a, especially black I don't have a lot of options in letters like I'm I don't have a lot of T's I don't in this particular set I didn't have I's so the I is actually a J cut off the T are actually ones upside down with a with the little flag of the top of the one cut off but um, it all works and I'm happy with the way that it looks uh, it's a bit on the playful side, which is fine for this particular layout, and so I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead with it. And then I'm just using liquid glue to hold it down because these are chipboard thickers and they don't stick worth, um, you know, I don't know, worth anything. <laughs> and in case you're wondering why, I'm just kind of floating that title right up at the middle of that white space. I am going to do journaling around it. So I'm going to start my journaling above it and do journaling all the way down to the top of my paper layers there. And that's going to tie it all together. I'm just using a black Muji pen to uh, do all of my journaling. And I don't know who I'm talking to or what I'm doing with my hand there. But I don't make you sit through watching all of it. You'll see it in the close-ups here. While I do that, don't forget to check out everyone playing along with the Paw Your Way Into Our Hearts Hop. Links are down below for that. There's also a playlist for Series 15 of Christie's Beautiful Life. You can go check out all of the videos that have been released so far. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you are interested in seeing more of my videos. And if you have questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Things are a little bit crazy right now, so it might take me a bit, minute, but I will respond. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.